Rose Dugdale was an English debutante who rebelled against her wealthy upbringing, becoming a volunteer in the militant Irish Republican organization, the Provisional Irish Republican Army. Born, March 1941, Huntington, United Kingdom. Died, March 18, 2024, age 83 years. Children, Rueri Gallagher. Spouse, Eddie Gallagher, M. 1978. Criminal penalty, nine years imprisonment. Criminal status, released. Rose Dugdale net worth around £100 million. Rose Dugdale. Early life. Dugdale was born into a wealthy English family on March 25, 1941. Her millionaire father was an underwriter at Lloyd's of London who owned Yardy Farm, a 600-acre, 2.4 square kilometres, estate at Membury near Axminster in Devon. The family also owned a house in London near Chelsea Hospital, and Dugdale was educated at the nearby Miss Ironside School for Girls in Kensington, West London. She was a popular pupil, with fellow pupil Virginia Ironside stating, Everyone adored this generous, clever and dashing millionaire's daughter, who was life and laughter. After completing her early education Dugdale was sent abroad to attend a finishing school. Then, in 1958, she was presented as a debutante at the start of the social season. Her debutante ball was held in 1959, with Dugdale describing it as a one of those pornographic affairs which cost about what 60 old-age pensioners receive in six months. Later in 1959, Dugdale began reading philosophy, politics and economics at St. Anne's College, University of Oxford. While studying there, she began what newspapers would later describe as a, a lunge to the left, when she and Jenny Grove, a fellow student, gate-crashed the Oxford Union wearing wigs and men's clothing in protest at the Union's refusal to admit women undergraduates as members, encouraged from the gallery by another student, Sarah Codwell. After completing her studies at Oxford, she traveled to the United States attending Mount Holyoke College in South Hadley, Massachusetts, where she obtained a master's degree in philosophy, submitting a thesis on Ludwig Wittgenstein. She also studied at the University of London, obtaining a PhD in economics. Later life After her release from prison, Dugdale was active in the campaign in support of protesting Irish Republican prisoners during the 1981 Irish hunger strike. She was a veteran activist in the political party Sinn Féin. After her release Dugdale acted as an expert IRA bombmaker. From the mid-1980s to the early 2000s she and Jim Monaghan developed homemade bombs and weapons. One was called the Biscuit Launcher, uh, one of which is in the National Army Museum in Chelsea, which was used several times by the IRA. Using readily available parts, it fired armor-piercing missiles packed with Semtex explosive, using packets of digestive biscuits to absorb the recoil. Dugdale and Monaghan also developed a new explosive used successfully to attack the fortified British Army Glen Ann Barracks in May 1991 and in a large bomb that destroyed the Baltic Exchange in the city of London in 1992. In 2007, she spoke out in support of the Shell to Sea campaign against the proposed construction of a high-pressure raw gas pipeline through Rossport by Shell, saying the Shell contract was invalid and needed to be renegotiated on behalf of the people of Ireland. She was also a director at Dublin Community Television. In 2011, she was the honoree at the annual Dublin Volunteers event, which each year acknowledges a person for their contribution to Irish republicanism. In an interview with the Republican newspaper and Fablacht before the event, Dugdale said she believed the revolutionary army that was the IRA had achieved its principal objective, which was to get your enemy to negotiate with you. They did that with amazing skill and ability, and I can't help but respect what was done in terms of the Good Friday Agreement. On her involvement in the IRA, she added, I did what I wanted to do. I am proud to have been part of the Republican movement, and I hope that I have played my very small part in the success of the armed struggle. In 2012, she was the subject of a TG4 documentary entitled Nine IRA Women of the IRA. A biography of Dugdale by Sean O'Driscoll, heiress, rebel, vigilante, bomber, The Extraordinary Life of Rose Dugdale, was published in 2022. A film, Baltimore, was released in 2024, mainly about Dugdale's role in the 1974 art raid on Rusboro House. Baltimore is a village in County Cork. Until her death, Dugdale lived in a care home in Dublin run by the poor servants of the Mother of God, most of whose residents are retired nuns. She died there on March 18, 2024, at the age of 82.